Alright, what's good everybody? Welcome to episode 2 of the Coho Beats Podcast. And I might actually change that name. I'm trying to come up with like a better name than Coho Beats Podcast, but we'll see where it goes. Anyhow, if you're uh, if you're listening to this or you listened to the last one, uh, appreciate everybody that showed support. So a couple of y'all DM me, told y'all y'all enjoyed it, uh, and a couple of y'all left comments on the actual podcast and told me you liked it. So appreciate all that. I'm still trying to do one of these like every week. This is number two. So anyhow, let's get into it. All right. So the first thing I think I want to talk about is like what I want for the future. Basically, that was one of the that was one of the questions when I put in my story. I said, what do you guys want me to talk about? And that was uh, one of the ones that was in there. So I'm going to talk about that. Uh, I feel like a lot of people think when they start doing this that like people are just going to like, uh, like you're going to be doing it for a little bit and you're just going to like get mad rich over like like six months or a year or, or however long. But this shit takes time. Like you really got to put a lot of time into this. And I'm prepared to do that for like the next 10 to 15 years, whatever it is, but, uh, what I really, like, why I started doing this, of course, I started making beats and all this stuff because, like, I love music, but there, honestly, the thing that really went off my mind is, uh, I was at work one day, and, uh, like, I I work construction on the road and stuff like that, but I was at work, and I just, like, I would see these 50, 50 and 60 year olds, like, like, grown ass men, like, old like you know 60 70 almost not maybe not 70 but like still working construction at that age like 55 60 years old stuff like that and i was like damn dude i was like i do not like i'm cool with doing it for a little while right but like i do not want to be doing this stuff when i'm that old so i was like man i gotta figure something else out other than doing this for the rest of my life so i mean the only other thing i was like you know, like what they say, they go in what you're passionate about. So I was like, I'm really passionate about music. So if I could somehow, some way, find a way to make a living off of music, that's definitely the route I wanted to take. So, and that's the reason I uh, I really started all this. Because I just saw, like, how how tough it is, like, for people that just, like, have to work at a job their whole life. And they're not really happy with it. And, uh, I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't settle for less. You should always go for what you think you deserve. And, uh, like, you shouldn't just do things because other people say that's what you're supposed to do. Like, say your family's in this business and you have no interest in, like, if you're just being real, you have no interest in the business at all, but your family's doing this. And everybody in your whole family expects you to, like, carry on this business or just keep doing it or... Or like say uh, just stuff like that. You shouldn't do it just because people expect it of you. If you really don't want to do that and you have other things you're trying to pursue, I feel like that's what you should be doing. Because at the end of the day, in in twenty, in, man, uh, it's it's not gonna matter let, later on down the road. It's just not gonna matter uh, that you went and did your own thing. Like what's it's gonna matter if you did it, but like. I mean, I guess you know what I'm trying to say. It's not really going to matter if you didn't do that job they wanted you to do at the end of the day. Uh, So all I really, and I don't, I'm not doing this setting out. Of course, it would be cool to like, you know, just, you know, uh, get really good or whatever and start making a bunch of money. But I'm not doing this because I want a whole lot of money. I'm doing this because I want freedom. Like, I want to be able to work for myself. I want to be able to uh, wake up when I want to wake, set my own hours. I want to be able to work on my own. I don't want to be on somebody else's time for the rest of my life. I don't want to, like, I don't want to have to, I just want to have freedom. Like, I want to do what I want to do every day. And, I mean, I want to make music every day. That's what I want to do. I don't want to work construction 10, 12 hours a day for the next 25 years of my life. Like, I don't want to do that. So, that's all I really want out of this is freedom. Like I don't I don't care about a whole bunch of money. I don't care about like fame or none of that. Like producers are kind of like under the like uh behind the microscope anyways, but like I don't care about all that extra stuff. All I want is like just a place where I can just cook up all day and just like yeah, just be really basic with it. 
Uh, anything else after that's a bonus. Like that's not that's the real reason I'm doing this, just so I can not have to, uh, you know, work a job like that for the rest of my life. So that's my real. That's what I. That's what I want in the future is just to be able to be stable off of music. Obviously, I'm uh, not right now because, but uh, that's just what that's what I want in the future. But anyhow, let me see. Uh, another thing was uh, how to get your music out there, and that's like a really good question because. Man, it's hard. I mean, yeah, you can post on SoundCloud. You can post on uh, YouTube. You can post your stuff on Instagram. I mean, you can post on Twitter. You can go on, uh, put your stuff on Spotify. You can put your music out there. It's not hard. Like, it's really not hard to get it out there. But the hard part is getting people to listen to it. And to get people to listen to it, I mean, if I knew the answer, then I should... I probably wouldn't be doing this podcast right now. I'd probably just be chilling or something if I knew the answer to that. But I don't know how to get people to listen to your music. You just got to... I feel like really what you got to do is instead of just making music and like putting it out, I feel like these days what it seems like it's starting to go towards, you have to like show people your story. Like that's why I'm doing this podcast right now is because if people listen to this podcast and they start to vibe with me and they like kind of understand uh me and what I'm going through and stuff like that they'll be more likely to listen to my music. I mean it's that's just what it is today. Everybody's doing podcasts, everybody's doing like vlogs on YouTube. Like today you have to do more than just make music. You have to make content and this is content. I mean that's it's what it is. You have to make good content. Uh you have to be able to present yourself in like a, you know, the way people people need to some see I'm like fans of some people and I don't even listen to that much of their music. Like I I listen to uh like like some podcasts and stuff like that. Like Curtis King, like I don't just go and sit and listen to a whole bunch of Curtis King beats, but like I watch all of his content or maybe not all of it, but I watch a lot of his content because he just has really good content. So I'm automatically a fan of him and not even for his music first, like people like that, you know, like you have to, I feel like that's really the way to get people to hear your music is make content around your music. You have to, uh, expand everything you're doing other than music. So that's what I'm trying to do. But, uh, and another, let's see, another topic I wanted to go over real quick. Uh, I want to talk about, I want to talk about using loops actually. This this podcast is just really going to be bouncing around a lot of different subjects because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to talk about, so I just uh, wrote a couple things down. So when I first started doing this, like that's all I really wanted to do was make melodies and stuff. Like, so when you first start making beats, the thought of using somebody else's melody just sounds so whack. It's like hell no. It's like dude, I want to make my own. You know what I mean? You want to make your own melodies and stuff like that. So the thought of using other people's loops is like hell no. Why the hell, you know why would I do that? But uh, it's it's actually really good to use loops. Like you shouldn't really look at it that way because music these days is all about collaboration. Honestly, me, most of my best beats are whenever I've used a loop from somebody. When somebody sends me a melody, I don't know what it is, but something about my melodies like uh. Maybe it's just not, they're not up to par yet, or maybe they're not bouncy enough, but there's, like, I can make a decent beat off my melodies, but something about when I get a melody from somebody else, I can, I can do the drums, like, way harder for some reason. I don't know why, but it seems like my drums come out better when I'm using a loop from somebody else than I'm using my own melody. I don't know why that is, but that's why it's just really good to collab, because you never know what's going to happen. Like, two, uh... Two people working on something is better than one, you know what I mean? Uh, So don't be afraid to use loops, and don't care what people say if you're using loops. I think loops are loops are pretty cool. I've sent loops to people, and people have used my loops, and I've also used uh, loops of other people. So there's nothing wrong with that. And plus, like if you're in a studio with an artist or something like that, you don't want to spend 30 minutes to an hour trying to make a loop. You want to just pull up something real quick. They vibe with it. You put some drums with it. Bam. You don't want to spend 30 minutes making a loop and they might not even like mess with the loop. You know what I mean? But, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, I feel like loops are actually a really good, really good thing. Don't worry about, uh, not using your own melodies all the time. Loops are good for collabing. Uh, and I also, I want to talk, also want to talk about like, uh, 
people that don't want to start producing or some people that feel like if they start making beats that there's no way that they're ever going to be able to break in because there's just because there's a lot of people doing this now like in 2020 there's a lot of people making music so a lot of people feel like oh why am i gonna stand out or what do i have to offer or no there's way too many people are the beat selling game is oversaturated youtube's oversaturated like and that, yeah, that's like kind of true, I guess. But think about it like this. This is the way I, I literally thought about this like five, ten minutes ago. Think about it like this. For every uh, new person that starts making beats every day, there's probably another person that started rapping that day and is hitting the studio for the first time. So think about it like, because the, I mean, the, the population is growing in the world, right? So every time somebody starts making beats, another person started rapping. So it's almost equal opportunity it's not like it's not like there's a set amount of rappers and there's the beat making the beat makers are just like growing. The rap there's more rappers, there's more beat makers, so there's more opportunity for both. So don't get worried about if you're gonna have like an opportunity to sell beats or like if it's too, just too oversaturated. I feel like if you if you think if you say that oh this is too oversaturated and that's your excuse not to do it, I feel like not, I, I that's just not the way to go for me. I think. So there's that, and uh, also want to talk about uh, thank you for everybody that uh, been showing love to the drum kit that I just put out. Uh, a lot of people DM me saying that like uh, they like the loops and uh, stuff like that, and the eight oh and the, they found some eight oh eights they were looking for. Uh, appreciate everybody. This is a free kit, by the way. So if you're listening to this, all you have to do to get the kit, go to my Instagram and just send me a DM of your email. Basically, I mean, follow me if you want. Uh, Go to my last post, or it might not be the last post when you're listening to this, but just tag three people on the post of the drum kit, and tag three people you think might want it, and just send me an email, send me a DM of your email, and I'll send you the loop for free, or the drum kit for free, but uh, it's my first drum kit I've ever put out, actually, and uh, let's see, let's get one more topic in there. Um, Don't compare yourself to other people. It's really hard to go on YouTube and see all these badass producers. Like, you know, it's really hard to go and see how dope their beats are and then go back in the FL studio and your beats are not as dope. Like, trust me, I've been there, dude. I've, I've been there. It sucks whenever you just want to make, like, some hard shit and for some reason, uh, other than it's not coming out the way you want it. But don't worry about that. Like, this stuff takes time. Like, I've been making beats for almost a year now and I'm just now getting to the point where I feel like my beats... Or like a little like decent, you know what I mean? But uh don't worry about what everybody else is doing, man. Everybody has their own road, so just take it at your own pace and, and uh don't really pay attention to to the people. I mean just don't worry about that. It, it, if it takes you two or three years to get good at making beats, so be it. If uh your beats aren't as good as some other crazy producer, like who cares? Like the goal is not to be better than everybody. The goal is to be better than yourself than you were yesterday. I mean, you just got to compete with yourself. So don't worry about uh, everybody else and what they got going on. Just focus on you. I feel like that's very important to uh, when you're doing this. Uh, another thing. Let's see. Let's get one more topic in there. Uh, let's see. If, if you've heard of the 10,000 hour rule, I feel like that's probably something like, think about it like this. This goes back to comparing yourself with others. That person might have 20,000 hours into their craft and you're comparing yourself to them and you've only put in a thousand hours. So of course they're going to be better than you. They've put in way more hours and way more work. So uh, there's like this saying, right? And a lot of people probably know this, but it's a 10,000 hour rule. This ain't just in beats. This ain't just in producing or music. This is like a, almost like a rule of life. Like, I promise you, LeBron James and all these uh, uh, great basketball NFL players, I promise you they have 10,000 hours of training and putting in work and stuff like that. Like, you, if you put in 10,000 hours into something, you're going to be fucking good at it. Like, you're going to be really good at it. Uh, so it's the same thing with making beats. Just put in your 10,000 hours and see where you are after that. Like, don't really judge yourself before that because I, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just, uh, just trying to get, just trying to get good at my craft. That's really what I'm doing every day is just trying to like, just learn little things here and there and just trying to get better. Like go on YouTube and look up tutorials. There's hella, uh, tutorials on YouTube 
and those help so much. Like, dude, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for YouTube tutorials. I probably wouldn't be making shit, but, uh, so yeah, just put in your 10,000 hours. Like, if you want, if you want to be really good at playing guitar, play guitar every day for, like, two hours a day, and I guarantee you in two years, you're going to be pretty good. Like, whether you suck at first or not, whether you have natural talent or not. Some people, uh, like, natural talent's kind of like a thing that, like, that might not, I'm sure some people are, like, naturally gifted at some stuff, but other than that, it just comes down to practice. You practice anything enough, you're going to get good at it. So don't worry about if you don't, if you suck at first. Dude, I, I sucked for, like, I mean, I'm still not, you know, all that great, but I sucked really bad for, like, the first three months. My beats were horrible. Like, first, like, three to six months, really. I'm just now, like I said, I'm just now getting to the point where I'm like, okay, these are, like, kind of good, you know what I mean? But, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to talk about some stuff like that. Um, let's see, anything else? I think that's about it for this podcast. So if you listen to this far, I appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'm trying to drop a podcast every week. Uh, DM me at Coho Beats on Instagram if you want to get a free drum kit. And uh, I'm going to be trying to put another drum kit, maybe a loop kit out in the next like couple months or so. And then other than that, just, uh, I'm going to be on these podcasts. So peace.